Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a simple website on Figma. First of all, you're going to want to go to figma.com and either sign in or log in to your account. Once you're done that, you're going to end up on this page right here and click new design file. So this is going to take you to an empty canvas. And then in the top left corner, you're going to want to click this button that says region tools. Click this and go to frame. It's going to show you a list of frames like phones, tablets, and desktops. But for now, I'm going to choose a MacBook Pro. This MacBook Pro frame is going to act as the home page of the website. Now we're going to choose this rectangle over here, and this is going to act as the header or the navigation bar of the home page. Now you can choose this text tool to add to the navigation bar. Now, once you're done that, we're going to add to the home page. Now that we're done making the home page, now we can copy this by pressing Alt and dragging this. So this is going to act as a second screen, and this is going to be our contact page. So now I'm going to add a name, email, and subject category. So now we're going to add rectangles to make it seem as if it's a text box. Now that we're done the contact page, we're, we're on to the last page, the about page. So since this website is about killer whales, I'll add a picture of a killer whale over here. So you can go and Google and search up killer whale or any topic that you're doing. Now that we're done building the three screens, we're gonna start prototyping. So in the top right corner, you're gonna see this design, prototype and inspect. You're gonna to wanna to press prototype. And once you hover over any button, it's gonna show you a, a dot over it. So this dot is gonna act as a navigation device. So let's say I wanna click this about page and I want this to take me to this page right here. So you can click this and drag it to the about us page. And then the contact will take us to the contact page. So you can do the same with the rest of it. So now that we're done prototyping, let's test to see if this website actually works. So in the top right, above prototype, you're gonna see a share button. Next to that, there's gonna be a play button. You're gonna wanna pr uh, press this and it's gonna show you the website. So now we can see the website actually in play. And now you can see all the buttons are actually working.